God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, the beginning and the first day of God's creation are different. The Bible says that the earth that was created in the beginning is chaotic, empty, and deep in the darkness. The light was created on the first day. Therefore, we can see that in the beginning, the dark earth was brightened by the God making light on the first day. The beginning has a meaning of the day of zero. Day zero signals the beginning. The time interval between the beginning and the first day. No one knows the time interval between the beginning and the first day because this interval of time is God's time. Man cannot measure it, so if some people ignore this concept and calculate the time period in which God created the heavens and the earth, it is stupid. The concept of the heaven. We need to keep an eye on creating our heaven, Shamaim, and the earth, heaven is Shamaim in Hebrew. In the Old Testament, all heavens we know are called Shamaim. The blue sky is also called Shamaim, the outer space is called Shamaim, and the kingdom of God is called Shamaim. In the Old Testament, all heavens are Shamaim. When we say Shamaim in the Old Testament, we must first think about what this heaven means. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 8, God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. If you think heaven in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 as the heaven in Genesis chapter 1 verse 8, then heaven firmament was created in the beginning. And in Genesis chapter 1 verse 7, heaven was created, therefore, since these two heaven filaments overlap, they do not fit the logic. Therefore, it is clear that the Shamaim of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 is not heaven. We see it can be said that the heaven referred to in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 means the kingdom of God. The concept of earth. Regarding the earth, Hebrew Eretz, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 9, God says, Let the water under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry rain appear, and it was so. That earth is Eretz. <coughs> then it overlapped with Eretz mentioned in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Some may say that earth was created in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 <clears throat> and the earth mentioned in Genesis chapter 1 verse 9 are the same earth but in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 earth means the material world this is because the earth Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and the earth Genesis chapter 1 verse 9 overlap therefore it can be seen that the earth of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 means to the material world, not the earth. The concern, the creation of the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. This is the saying that the material world was separated from the kingdom of God. When God separated the material world, the earth was placed the chaos, empties, and the darkness. The physical world was made of water. The spirit of the God moved upon the face of the water. The word moved upon means wrapping as if a bird had an egg. Why did God separate the material world from the kingdom of God? The reason was to confine the angel which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation. Secret before creation. In order to know about the secret before creation of the world, we must find out about the angels who have sinned, and the angels with the, which kept their first estate but left their own habitation. He has reserved in the everlasting trains on the darkness and the judgment on the great 
day. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down here, and delivered them into trance of the darkness to be reserved the judgment. Since the sinning angels wanted to be like God, they followed the Satan. God have imprisoned in prison, a pit in the earth. Here is this war. Why did God plan his son to die on the cross? People think of the incident in the Garden of the Eden. But Jesus made a derived mystery through the parable of a sowing seed. The Garden of Eden is an event that took place in this world, but it also symbolized the kingdom of God. The first man, Adam, came to the world to make a body of sin, and evil symbolized the sinful angel he brought. The last Adam is the Christ who came to give the body split. It brings the spirit back to the kingdom of God.